Hello, welcome. <laughs> I'm Sharon Scott Wilson. Uh, I'm publisher of Resort Trades Magazine. and uh, Many of you probably subscribe, I hope so. But uh, today we are going to feature uh, Matt Brocious, who also contributed an article to the most recent uh, issue or edition on his one of his projects, Owner's Travel Club. But uh, he has a lot more initiatives that he's going to discuss. Well, mostly he's going to talk in a general way about how to raise revenue, improve your service to clients, and generally uh, operate a little more smoothly and effectively. Uh, so I will let him go ahead and remember after this session, we will be posting this on YouTube on Resort Trades. So I hope that you will, if you haven't subscribed already to Resort Trades on YouTube, I hope that you'll do that because we're trying to expand our network and uh, particularly after the conditions created by COVID. I think it's more vital than ever that we all get familiarized with one another. And if you have any comments, you can put them there. And also you can uh, go ahead and email me, Sharon at the trades.com. If you yourself would like to be a speaker or have any other ideas of someone that you would like to, to hear. So without further ado, Matt Brocious, he's with Panorama. And many of you will uh, remember Matt, he's been in the technology uh, side of the timeshare industry for many years. And now he uh, is with Panorama and uh, has a lot of a lot of tasks ahead of them. So, Matt, go ahead and take it away. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sharon, and um, welcome to everyone on the call. Uh, welcome to uh, friends, uh, colleagues, uh, industry professionals who I have not yet had the pleasure of meeting, but look forward to in the not too distant future. Hopefully, that'll be a reality um, coming soon. You know, we've all been cooped up for the last year and. I'm sure we'd love to get out and meet folks and um, looking forward to uh, the ARDA event in June uh, as an opportunity to do so. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, meet all of, with all of you at that time. And Sharon, thank you very much for, um, you know, for this series of events for the Learning Center. Uh, I've attended several of them. I found the content uh, extraordinary. I think that the um, the the brain power and the the thinking and the um, just the general strategy that's deployed in our little industry is um, is is superb, and you serve as a platform for for sharing that and bringing people together. Uh, you know, which is very important now more than ever, as you said. Oh, so thank I, you. I will, yeah, well, you're welcome. Um, no, I mean that it's really been very useful. Um, so hello everybody, um, Matt Brocious, I'm with Panorama Travel Solutions and um, uh, Panorama is a company that provides uh, innovative uh, travel solutions. Um, we're part of what is now called Travel and Leisure, which was formerly Wyndham Destinations and part of their family of travel companies. Our particular little niche within the organization, you know, Panorama has, has several um, different companies, the largest and most well-known being RCI, the leader in timeshare exchange. But our little niche is Panorama Travel Solutions. Our mission is to provide innovative technology to assist legacy resorts, improve owner engagement, guest service levels, increase rental revenue and reduce operating costs. Well, that's a pretty big task there. <laughs> that's, what, um, that's what our mission is. And we've got some exciting new products that we're introducing and rebranding in order to uh, deploy those solutions for legacy resorts. With over 45 years in the resort industry, Panorama Travel Solutions specializes in designing resort solutions, as well as operating 
B2B and B2B to C travel membership programs, um, such as the Owners Travel Club that we've just recently introduced. Uh, you can check ownerstravelclub.com. Our travel clubs are powered by Alliance Reservations Network, a panorama company, which started developing online travel booking technology in 1995 and has been the forefront and is an industry leader in this technology. Some of the solutions, and by the way, this is not an infomercial, just giving you the background on who we are. And then I'm going to jump into the content, which is really best practices that we've observed both within our company and from our clients, uh, ways to um, uh, you know, meet those challenges that are out there for improving service levels um, and increasing revenue and reducing costs. The solutions that we have, and I invite you all to check them out, are Owners Travel Club, which is a rewards program for timeshare owners, uh, ownerstravelclub.com. Optores, which leverages RCI's uh, strength in revenue management and rental distribution, www.optores.com. And Viewpoint, um, which we are calling simply Advanced Integrated Resort Management, which is a whole new breed of cloud-based property management software for legacy timeshare resorts. I invite you to look into those. Also, if you look on LinkedIn, we do, um, uh, we do uh, present webinars on these on a regular basis, but they're not the, uh, the subject of, of today's uh, presentation. So um, I'm going to go over a bunch of content, sort of rapid fire. And again, these are sort of best practices. And the goal is that you can take away some tidbits um, that you can use for your own resort operations, or you can pass these along to some of your clients and colleagues who are in resort management or resort ops so that they could use those. First is the importance of guest profiles. Um, you know, I've worked with timeshare technology for, for many years and you'd be surprised how many systems that are out there um, don't have guest profiles. Whereas in the hotel business, especially as you move up the ladder in services, Limited service hotels don't have much in the way of uh, guest profiles, but as you move up the ladder, having a rich profile and being able to capture information on your guests, especially your returning guests, is really key. And um, you can use guest profiles to personalize and treat every guest like a VIP. You know, what we want most of all, whether it's a renter, an exchanger, or especially our owners, is we want them to feel the love. We want them to know that that we want them in the resort and that it's 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 their place. So greeting guests by name and uh, even asking them how was the trip from whatever their hometown was and uh, having some information, even being able to say hello to their kids by name, um, it's, it's important and it really, uh, begins to cement a, an intimate relationship with the guest. Um, having access to your stay history so you can know when the guest last visited and having reservation notes to make sure um, that any um, special preferences are fulfilled, extra towels for kids, whatever the case may be, ground floor, uh, difficulty with mobility, maybe not handicapped, but just, uh, you know, these guest preferences, um, being able to um, take care of those. And also having a small gift in the room, you know, it's not done very often, but I know when I um, stay somewhere and there's a little gift in there, sort of no matter what it is, even if it's just a chocolate or something, it's a, it's a great touch and it, it really costs next to nothing consider um, the goodwill that it, that it puts forward. Another um, item or um, device you can use for rewarding returning guests is with a discount coupon for the next stay. So that, you know, when they check out, you give them, you know, 20 or 30% off if they book through your, 
your website. Well, guess what? That doesn't cost you a dime because if there came in through an OTA or another channel, you could be paying 20 or 30% for that reservation. Whereas if they're returning and they're booking now through your, through your website, you've given them a discount coupon. They're all excited at the fact they're going to get 25% off their next stay. Well, you're saving that because it's a commission free uh, booking for you. And it helps build the value of your business having uh, additional uh, repeat customers. Okay, another way to improve guest services. And Sharon recently had a, a whole uh, one of these learning centers specifically on this topic and uh, is to engage electronically. And um, there's, there's several ways to do this, but what we're talking about is communicating with a guest either by email or text message before, during, and after their stay. And um, also providing them with preferences. Maybe they don't wanna hear from you. Allow them gracefully to opt out, provide that option. But most guests do. Um, and there's you know, a lot of ways that you can engage. Engaging guests in a conversation you know, before, during, and after the stay takes personalization really to another level. And it's a, it's a powerful tool in optimizing the guest experience. The engagement begins really with a reservation or even before that with a return stay offer for previous guests. And once a reservation is booked, preferably on your, on your booking site, the dialogue begins. Uh, here's some engagement touch points that, um, that I think are, are useful. And there are services, there are third party services that provide this capability. There are also software like, like Viewpoint that have this type of functionality built into the software. A, uh, a great engagement touch point, of course, is when they make the reservation. The first message thanks them for their reservation, the guests for the reservation, and provides general information about the resort and local area resorts, um, you know, restaurants, things to do, et cetera, near the resort. And a week or two before arrival, what we're calling pre-arrival, um, a message can inform guests with personalized direction, information about activities that will be taking place at the resort, a 10-day weather forecast, uh, check-in tips, and, and any other information you want to put on forward. And then uh, on arrival date, the big days arrived, explain the options for check-in or pre-check-in if you offer that. We'll talk more about that in a little while how check-in can affect your, uh, your, your guest service level and enhance that. Um, so provide a um, arrival day, ask them if they have any questions for the front desk with a link to communicate with the front desk. And then after check-in um, or upon check-in, uh, mid-stay, hope making sure everything's okay. Upon check-out, we're really grateful for your stay, thank you. We look forward to your next visit. And a month later, with a sincere thank you and an invitation for your next stay, and um, come back and see us. So that electronic engagement is really important. And I would, I would, you know, we, we've all had this type of experience when we've been to certain, you know, high service hotels. Hilton has really pioneered this this technology in terms of the application of it but it's available for legacy resorts of all sizes from the very smallest um, you know, cabin or RV park to a larger um, resorts um, in, in premium destinations. And you know, I invite you to, to look into it. Well, here we go. We we're just talking about remote check-in and um, you know, this became I think there were, you know, real strong movement among the PMS vendors to offer remote check-in because of, you know, COVID and folks not wanting to go into the lobby and or not being able to go into the lobby and and uh, and check in. So, um, you know, you can engage the guests, and you know, you can use a guest services app um, in order to. Um, provide remote check-in. Guest services app 
basically um, allows you to provide an app that the guests can use while they're on property for checking in, checking out, if there's any housekeeping or maintenance issues, if they have a question for the front desk, really communicating with the resort. And, um, you know, look for a software that provides a guest services app. Um, um, another way to improve um, or enhance, because I know all of us take our guests seriously and, and really do show them love and do the best we can with our resort operations. But another way to enhance what we're doing is to reward owners, loyal owners, and show them just how important they are. Implement a reward program like the Owners Travel Club, which um, basically provides them with um, discounted travel uh, and access to membership rates that can be as much as 50% below the rates that um, you would get on an online uh, travel agent or that sort of thing. And uh, while I don't want to make this a pitch for Owners Travel Club, I think implementing a, um, a reward program is one of the ways, and we're going to go through several others, of rewarding owners and really letting them feel the love. Even more so, the other guest services we talked about, about um, you know, using guest profiles to gain information, have great information, and a guest services app to manage um, their experience while they're on uh, property. This is really layered on top of that because they, you know, the owners who are on property, they they feel the love with that too. But this is you know, you know, you're our owners, you pay your maintenance fees, you bought a timeshare in this resort, you're really important to us. And we're going to provide you with additional benefits above and beyond. So an owner's reward program is one way, an owner's portal for owner, owners to manage their ownership with self service. This is a must. Um, most um, timeshare specific property management systems provide a, an owner's portal of one type or another that allow you to do things and, and manage um, all aspects of, of, of your ownership, including making reservations, modifying or canceling reservations, um, depositing your week for exchange, um, renting your week, paying your maintenance fee, accessing documents, uh, communicating with the HOA, uh, communicating with the front desk, um, you know, a variety of self-service features. And, you know, we've done quite a bit of research in this area. We found that owners that have access to an owner's portal that allows them to manage and self-service um, their ownership um, have uh, much higher satisfaction levels than those that don't and uh, much less frustration in terms of getting things done. And the good news is, the really great news is, it's a win-win because there's fewer calls coming in to owner services. There's less of a cost for the resort to service all the incoming phone calls because you're providing all the information and the capability for owners to transact online as well as on their smartphone. So it's really a win-win. And if for those of you who are using a, a PMS that doesn't have this capability, look for one that does, or maybe you're your current vendor also provides this capability as an, as a, as an add-on. Uh, look into that. Um, it's also important that your owner services desk, when they do receive those calls, hopefully the call volume goes down, right? Because of the great uh, owner's portal that you're using now. And the owner's portal's typically branded with your re resort. So you can have on your owner's portal all kinds of other information on there. Um, floor pans of the units, minutes of the last AGM meeting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but for those when calls do come in, it's important to have a, a CRM focused property management system where your owner services personnel have access to all of the information about the owner experience in one screen, whether it's your stay history, 
their financials, uh, whether or not they paid their maintenance fees, when they paid, what they owe, um, who their family members are, um, if they have multiple contracts, what the contracts are, any notes, being able to look at their online profile, how many times they visited the website and what they did. All of that information is really key and um, being able to access it uh, in a, in a user-friendly format is, is, is very important. Um, got just a few more things because we're gonna, it looks like we got about uh, nine minutes left. Uh, like I said, I'm, I've kept to my promise that I was gonna give you these rapid fire tidbits and huh, hopefully um, we've got a few more for you here that you'll find useful. Um, I mentioned before uh, providing return rates for your um, for for your uh, return guests. Well, providing owners only promotional rates is another great way um, to rent shoulder season inventory, um, to rent uh, where you have any you know holes in your where you have vacancies and, and holes in your occupancy. Um, it, it's a it, it's a really nice intimate way of rewarding your owners. And by exploiting an owner's portal, you can communicate these offers through the owner's portal, these marketing messages so that, you know, you may have a, a, a promotion that you want to put forward for owners only. You know, maybe it's a, a buy one night, get a, a night free or uh, whatever the case may be, 50% off for this, this date range, whatever it is. Uh, but being able to tie those promotional rates to a, a promotion code and giving the, the owners access to that promo code and being able to access owners only promotional rates um, can provide you with additional occupancy um, and also um, is another way that you can reward your owners. And finally, implementing a referral program for reservations. Um, is another uh, uh, thing you can do to um, reward owners. You know, most um, resorts provide some kind of referral program, especially if they're still in active sales for, for a new sale or even if for resales, uh, a lot of resorts provide, you know, a referral um, uh, uh, reward for a um, referral that leads to a resale. But in the case of reservations, getting their friends to come to the resort, providing them with a, a reward for um, bringing their friends and family and, and loved ones and their extended circle of acquaintances to the resort, that creates a whole great marketing dynamic, which you can use to expand the web of influence, the sphere of influence of, of, of your resort. And uh, many of you are probably already doing this, but if you're not, it's a it's a really easy way. Most of these tips and these best practices are, are things that, you know, some of them require technology, like engaging electronically with your guests, but some of them really are are, are right there for, for the taking and can be easily implemented. And we invite you to do so. Now I'm gonna just um, tell you a little bit more specifics on our owners travel club, just in the last couple minutes. Uh, delve into a bit of an infomercial on what we do. Um, owners Travel Club provides a high value travel rewards program for local loyal timeshare owners. We provide owner dollars, which provide access to savings. And I'm supposed to update this slide and I haven't yet. Uh, uh, shame, shame is 60% up to 60% below public rates. And when we say public rates, what we mean is the lowest rates available um, on the online travel agents. We have a, a best price guarantee, which is in, in any case, our price will be uh, at or below, typically well below um, the OTA rates that you can find online. And that's leveraged again through the Owners Travel Club, through the technology of the Alliance Reservations Network or ARN, which is a panorama uh, company. The owners can save up to $1,500 on a, on a vacation. And this does not um, affect in any way, shape or form the usage of their week. This is just a benefit uh, that they get for paying their maintenance fee. And um, they get a risk-free trial to shop Owners Travel Club and see what it's all about. 
And uh, then if they decide that they want to book travel, there is a, a membership fee, which is 99 bucks, which is a yearly subscription. And uh, hey, the great news is if they own multiple weeks, they get 1500 owner dollars per week. So if they own a couple of weeks, they could really have some great savings. And this is for additional travel above and beyond the usage or exchange or rental of their week. Um, uh, and with people really wanting to travel and getting back to travel, we think this is a key benefit. And last but not least, we provide a revenue share back to the HOA. That's sort of the, the cherry on the Sunday um, uh, uh, based on owner activity. Um, I talked before a little bit about owner's portal. I don't think I'm gonna go into too much detail on this slide, by the way, this presentation is available for anyone that would like to request it. I'd be happy to provide it. But these are just some of the detailed features um, that a owner's portal can provide either on the, um, the web or smartphone. You know, everything having to do with, with um, managing their ownership and visualizing their ownership and being able to self-service um, their their owner relationship with the resort. Okay, um, in terms of increasing revenue, I'm gonna briefly go through this. I think I'm down to about three minutes, trying to keep myself on the clock. Um, optimizing rentals and uh, enhancing maintenance fee collections. We're well, using guest portals, of course, as a way to uh, distribute maintenance fee statements and provide online collections and payment by credit card. Also, uh, one of the features we have in our viewpoint system is the capability of offering automated payment plans. So if you want to offer like quarterly, monthly uh, payments, um, they can be set up automatically and automatically the payments can take place and those payments get applied to their uh, account. And um, uh, this is a good way for uh, dividing a bill into 12 and keeping it current on your balance sheet, even though the owners may, may have some financial duress and has asked for a payment plan. But that can be fully automated um, with our software. Other software packages, I think, may offer something similar to that. Um, we have another um, a couple opportunities uh, for increasing revenue. Revenue management, um, we've all heard the term. Uh, basically, it's the, the art and science of determining the best use of your inventory, uh, yielding your inventory, um, making sure that it's um, allocated to the proper channels uh, for distribution, whether it's through your own website, whether it's um, for exchange, whether it's uh, RCI rentals, whether it's through online travel agents, um, uh, and, and, and so on and so forth. And also managing the, the, um, the rate uh, and doing the analysis, which is data intensive. Uh, most systems that are out there don't provide a strong component of revenue management or revenue analysis. Um, you know, RCI, our company, has um, focused on this as a core strength and we're able to leverage some of this. Um, but it's important that you have access to revenue management reporting and revenue management consulting. Uh, we provide this um, with our property management system with Viewpoint, uh, but these services are available through third parties um, and we recommend them as a way for uh, looking at what you're doing now and getting advice on how you can do it better. Um, if anyone would like to contact me about this type of service, I'd be happy to speak with them offline. And finally, rental distribution service. Um, you know, uh, basically the the ability, and you know, most companies do this. Most uh, property management systems do this. Uh, have an interface through channel managers to the to the online travel agents. It's also important to have additional channels. Um, you know, such as RCI, uh, extra holidays, which may have lower commissions and, and higher rates than your traditional online travel agents. Typically, we look at doing alternative distribution three or four months out and then pushing what's not sold out to the OTAs 
four to five weeks out because the OTAs uh, typically uh, are your highest commission, highest cost, um, and they're not your only option in terms of, of distribution. Um, I think I think we I, I talked about this before. For more information, you can look at our, our site, um, optires.com. We provide a free rental analysis consultation, provide revenue management and rate advisory service, and one-stop distribution available to hundreds of OTAs and distribution to alternate channels like RCI Extra Holidays. We also provide for small resorts who don't have someone on on staff to manage this, we can offer a fully managed service where they can take advantage of this without, without any, any costs on, on their behalf. Um, I'm running over here, so um, I will fly through these last couple slides. In terms of reducing costs, harnessing automation is key. Uh, using a highly automated integrated cloud PMS, automating exchange transactions, rentals, getting more done in less time and finding a right sized and right priced PMS is key to reducing costs by increasing efficiency. There's a lot of automation that can take place these days where jobs that are typically being done manually don't have to be done that way anymore. And um, also through exchange integration, our viewpoint offers um, uh, seamless exchange integration for all the way from deposits and verifications through backloading of trading power, um, inserting guests into reservations, uh, checking expiration dates for memberships, et cetera, et cetera. I am touched that you and others from Panorama have been so supportive, not only of resort trades through advertising and through uh, contributing articles, but but also, I think you really, uh, I'm so impressed that everybody on your team is so invested in the industry. And I think it's the, what do they say about a rising tide floats all boats? And I think that you guys are just doing a stellar job. Thank you. And um, I did have a question uh, myself as you were speaking I wondered how how you assure people that if they were to use owner tra owners travel club or viewpoint or Optares uh, or any of the other panorama uh, facilities, how do you assure them that travel and leisure aren't going to swoop in and and take away the management uh, or operator? Uh, uh, position. Yeah, well, we've heard that before. Um, clearly, that's a question that comes up. That's one of two questions that come up. One question is, you know, um, are are they? Uh, is, is this a Trojan horse? Is this the fox in the in the chicken coop? And the other one is, are we going to take leads and start to market, you know, timeshare for timeshare presentations to these leads? And in both of the cases, the answer is no. Um, you know, we're a, a business unit within a company and we can assure, for instance, with Owners Travel Club, we don't actually um, communicate directly with the owners. What we do is we provide an offer that's emailed by the HOA to the owners. And if the owners opt in for that service, it's for that website only. There's a very specific terms of service and contract that we won't market them outside of the owner's travel club and that um, and, and, and as a public company and uh, a good corporate citizen, we're, we're going to abide by that. But we're very mindful of those concerns and also owner privacy. And we're not going to do anything to, uh, to risk that in any way, shape or form. And you can be assured that um, your owners will not be marketed to and that we won't engage in any direct owner dialogue. It will all be initiated by the HOA directly. We don't ask for any lists, any anything like that. So that's a great well, I imagine. Yeah, you wouldn't be in business for long uh, otherwise. So uh, it's not our, mission. our mission is to provide tools to assist resorts, not to 
not to compete with them. Yeah, well, there you go. And it's written into the contract. So uh, being a public company, uh, that would uh, be very a lot of exposure you wouldn't need anyway. So uh, I did want to say, oh, your discount, discount coupon for the next day. And I imagine there are other uh, incentives or, or, or gifts. And I, I like that idea. I was listening as if I were uh, managing a legacy resort and I wondered uh, how much manpower it would take by the resort staff to uh, to facilitate any of these things, particularly the digital uh, uh, electronic communications, you know, welcoming guests and doing all this personalized service. Yeah, there are, um, we don't get involved with providing marketing um, assistance direct to the owners for reasons that we previously discussed, for reasons of, of owner, pro owner privacy and owner privacy concerns. We don't want to, we want a firewall between our company and that data because we it's sacrosanct, the relationship that the resort has with their owners. We don't want to get in the middle of that that but there are some great third parties out there that we can provide referrals to for smaller resorts who want to they can also look to you know resort trades who also can do emailing and 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 uh, postcards you did a great postcard for us as an insert for owners travel club so they can also look to you but there are you know there's some great agencies we worked with that could help smaller resorts if they don't have you know, their own marketing team on board. Well, thank you for the plug. We do get uh, resorts uh, when they are interested in recruiting, uh, you know, team members. They use us quite frequently to, and, and also to build their reputations with investors. So appreciate the plug, Matt. Thank Thanks you. We do have a Harry Van Skyver comment. Do you open your portal or facilitate travel or discount offers to be used for as incentives? Oh, it keeps moving down. Wow. <laughs> uh, for example, by customer recovery companies like, like his. Yeah, actually we have um, some other programs that would probably not be um, our owner's travel club because our owner's travel club is specifically for um, timeshare maintenance owners who are performing as a reward for them. So in order to keep a sort of a clear message on, on that, but we do have um, other clubs based on the ARN technology, Harry, that provide uh, a travel incentive. And what we, what we and many people who have used them consider to be the best in the business that could be used by customer uh, recovery companies like yours to provide a, a benefit as part of the bundle that you provide companies if you're doing a deed back or, uh, or uh, whatever type of program you're doing. So yeah, by all means, if you want to um, shoot me an email, my email is there in the chat and um, uh, I'd be happy to, to steer you with, to the right folks. It, it may not be me, but I would certainly steer you to the right folks. Also, I might mention that uh, Matt's uh, PowerPoint files are available for download in the files section, if you uh, wanted to click on that. Also, uh, we have uh, go to resorttrades.com and put in uh, anything into the search menu that you have a question about. There's probably an existing article on it, uh, if not from Matt, from some other member of his team. So uh, Harry did write, great, that makes sense. We'll, e we'll email you. So there you go. Some good results. Uh, I did want to mention now, next week we were at Westgate Resorts, Mark Waltrip, uh, but he had to withdraw. So we don't look at that as a cancellation, but rather a postponement. So we'll let you know when that's back on. 
Uh, next Friday, we have an awards presentation for Gordon uh, McClendon from SPI. And then on the 29th, that's Thursday after next, we have a brand new uh, product uh, showcase that we're launching. And this uh, is will be Vacation Innovations. Uh, well, their COO, Brian Rand, will uh, talk about the company and what their offers are and uh, encourage you to attend that to find out what Vacation Innovations is all about. So, Matt, again, thank you so much. I appreciate Welcome. your thorough present, uh, presentation. It's a lot of work for these uh, things, and I appreciate and I think our audience does too. So um, I guess for now we can sign off. Uh, again, go to resorttrades.com and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to e the print publication or our weekly e-newsletter, Resort Trades Weekly. And thank you, everybody. Have a, have a great rest of the day. Hi. I'm Sharon Scott Wilson, publisher of Resort Trades. We have been bringing you free videos in the hopes that we can help solidify the Timeshare Resort community and provide you, vacation ownership professional uh, that you are, with some useful information. So uh, when you hit the uh, like button or share or comment, you're helping yourself too to be more integrated into the community, uh, helping others get to know you. So be an influencer, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we post a new video. And thank you. Good luck.